Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Young, Gander RV and Outdoors, just having a little fun, relaxing inside the brand new Keystone Outback 340BH. Keystone's Outback line, I call them the chalets because of the attention to detail, the amenities that they put inside these travel trailers. You're not leaving one creature comfort from home when you go on the road with this, your home on the road. For example, leather sofa, extremely comfortable. That extends out into a sleeper. You got large panoramic windows all the way around this unit. Wood balances, LED lights, solid wood construction. This is the patina decor. You'll see the light on the dark as we kind of go through this. But you got the leather booth dinette over there, which is the dream dinette. There's no legs on the table. That just extends down. This becomes a sleeper. We got LED accent lights underneath the booth dinette and storage on both sides. And speaking of storage, you're not going to be hurting for it inside of this unit. Solid wood construction, shaker style cabinets with the matte or graphite style fixtures all the way around. And just take a look at the room that we have right up here in the pantry. Raised lips on these shelves, which means that's going to help ensure that the stuff in there isn't going to fall out in transit. When you go to open the doors, you're not going to get all your supplies dumped on you. Island kitchen with a seamless solid countertop. We got the drying rack sitting right on top of our undermounted stainless steel farmhouse style sink with a suspension sprayer. I'm a big fan of these because of the reach that you have. But look at the prep space that I have here. Look how beautiful it is. Residential style light fixtures with the LED lights. I even have my own skylight where if it's like you know what this gorgeous thing i just need more light forget it there we go i mean come on man absolutely gorgeous solid wood construction full extension on the ball bearing drives on your drawers here large drawers there you even got more storage underneath the sink good spot for your trash can Got a two door, eight cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here that runs on both gas and electric. Does have the automatic switch. Plenty of space for those long weekend getaways. Now, I mean, you could probably sleep. Well, I mean, this is a family camper, but if you wanted it to be your hunting cabin, your fishing cabin, absolutely could be because you have the insulation for cold weather camping. You got a 15,000 BTU AC, you got a 35,000 BTU furnace. So you're going to be able to keep the climate where you want it. And when it comes time to prepping and entertaining, I don't know how you could find one better. Suspension assist right there on the storage up above my range. Three burner flush mounted stove with the grill cover right there. LED accent lights on my controls, large oven right there. So if you want to roast that turkey, go for it. And check out my pot and pan drawer, man. With the Outbacks, they try to think of everything that they can, and they do a good job with it too. More storage right there. Good spot for the pantry. Microwave right up here. And I was sitting in the lush, plush leather sofa. Um, before Bob maybe just all of a sudden decided he wanted me to go to work. I was gonna watch some TV on this 50 inch TV that comes up out of the entertainment center, but take a look at the wood style cover. Beautiful, looks a little distressed. You got a large panoramic, panoramic window behind the TV. So if you don't wanna watch TV, you just wanna see what's going on out there, you could. Got a little storage space, component shelf, Jensen AM FM. CD player plus that's also dual zone and has a USB so you can have your music playing inside or out or both and a 48 inch fireplace with multiple flame settings LED backlight and that blower kicks out enough heat to heat this whole entire area you don't even really need to run the furnace unless it's super cold and take a look at the beautiful barn door that we have here once again that light on dark giving us more pantry space or ward space because we do have a hanger. So if you wanted to take those shelves out and use it as a closet, you absolutely could. And you know, that's the great thing about an RV. It's your RV, it's a recreational vehicle. You can use any of the space for whatever you want. It doesn't specifically have to be a pantry. Well, why would you put clothes in there? I don't know, maybe because you're going on a 50 day trip. It's your RV. Solid door going into the bathroom. I got hangers here and Hangers on the wall right here. Bob made a great point. This could be like a little mini mudroom storage with the hangers there. Jackets, backpacks, the whole nine. Coming to the bathroom, I got the powered vent fan right above the solid porcelain bowl with the foot flush. And take a look at the counter space that I have here on my vanity. Got storage underneath. 
deep single bowl sink with the graphite style fixtures there and medicine cabinets once again with those raised lips to make sure while it's in transit nothing's going to fall out solid glass doors on the single surround shower right here if i don't kill myself getting in just got to watch out you know that is one little thing with the toilet right there getting into the in and out of the shower as you just saw it's a little tricky so that's probably the only negative i have so far on this camera got the large skylight right there giving me plenty of natural light and more headroom I mean, you don't really need it with these 81 inch plus high ceilings but single surround on the shower got some notches for my supplies and once again that matte black or graphite style fixture is just going to continue around this travel tray yeah this is that's tricky man gotta watch out for that of course you could always just come in on that side <laughs> so here we go with the command panel right here. This is going to check our fresh, you know, tanks, our gray tanks. Let us know how we look with the batteries. Also going to cut on our lights, run the slides out, run the awning out. Got a little motion sense LED night light right there. Solid door going into the master. And what do we have here? A beautiful master bedroom with our own AC with quick cool. Plenty of storage. Mirrored wards and drawers on both sides. <clears throat> So you have notches put in there too. So if you want to put your cell phones, maybe a CPAP machine, reading lights, you got dual USB charger over there, power ports on both sides, windows on both sides, and storage underneath, plus a pet kennel. So if you wanted to, you know, have the furry friend come along with you, they got their own kennel right there, strut supported. Put that back down. And wall mount for the lcd tv got your key tv multi-source connection i'll talk about that when we go outside and power right here i'm a big fan of having the tv there as opposed to going crosswise so you're not turned looking over uh somebody else just to watch tv now with this being the 340 bh the bunk room is going to be the focal point the whole entire rear of this travel trailer is taken up by the bunk room and it is a great one just take a look at the space and the style that we have here only one slide but this one slide holds a twin over bunk with a convertible plush sofa. And since Keystone is known for their little amenities, how about strut support on the bunk? So you don't have to hold it and try to lock it. I like that. But if the kids want to sit back, do some entertaining, you got a spot to mount a TV right here on the entertainment center, some notches, spots for the shoes, hideaway ladder and more storage there, and a 300 pound double over bunk right up here with plenty of windows, lots of room, storage faux days when you look at it right here. So if you're that family, you need to sleep a lot of people, or you just want something nice to set up as a hunting cabin, fishing cabin. You just want an RV that's gonna have the amenities and the creature comforts of home and have luxury and style. I gotta tell you, you gotta take a look at the all new Keystone Outback 340 BH. Cause this bunkhouse model, it's nice. We've seen it inside. What do you say we go take a gander, RV and outdoors at the outside. Okay, so here we are on the outside of the absolutely gorgeous brand spanking new Keystone Outback 340BH. Let's start right up front with the painted fiberglass end cap with the LED running lights. Not only is this gonna look good going down the road, it's gonna look great set up. We got twin 30 pound LP tanks and RV leveling system. Yep, when you get ready to set up, just hit that on. You got your automatic leveling system right here on the power tongue jack, which is also a very nice to have. Got the rough right here, uh, rock guard and just one of those little small attention to detail items for me. Take a look at how the end cap comes over the end and we have this weld seam right here. That's just quality construction. Fiberglass exterior, anti magnetic anti-slam doors. Got pass through storage right here, which is finished off. We got our battery disconnect right there too. And the carpeted wall, which actually makes great hangers. So if you have those like uh, Velcro hangers, put that there, put your fishing rods, maybe your towels, your beach chairs, beach umbrellas, good spot for that. Multi-source key TV connection. This is something that Keystone innovated so that when you're setting up your cable, your satellite, or any of your entertainment, you don't have to go looking for cables. They're all in one spot. Power port right there. So if you want to set up the outside entertainment, you absolutely could. Heated and enclosed underbelly. Lippert solid steps going up into the entry point. 
with the extra large grab handle, which also doubles as a door guard. We got a 20 foot awning, and this is the Solera power awning. So the LED lights are actually on the awning, giving you great light. There's one of those dual zone speakers that I was talking about. Got the true fit slides on this, which also minimizes the components when bringing it in and out. And take a look at the double axles right there. 15 inch aluminum wheels, the Dexter Easy Lube axles. And with that extra wide berth in between, it's gonna help with the suspension. You're not gonna get a whole lot of rocking back and forth. Do I even need to say it? I don't, just look at it. I'm gonna step out of the way so you can just look at it. Beautiful exterior kitchen. Got our burner right here. So if you want to set up the grill, you absolutely could. Would you just look at it? Do the fishing, do the hunting, get your cleaning and prep work done right here on the metal exterior countertop. We got a sink with the graphite style fixtures. Even have a spot if I want to put a TV, I got my connection right there. So you go watch your stories over there. I'm going to watch ESPN right here. Actually, I'll be the one watching the stories. Large dorm style fridge, storage up top and our own push button LED light. The other thing I like about the exterior kitchens, sometimes you get them where you don't have a lot of headroom underneath with the suspension assist on this. Not only do I have plenty of headroom, it helps with closing and opening these giant doors. Keystone even does covers on the hinges so that when the rain or it gets wet, you don't have those rush streaks going down. And look at that. I got an LP Quick Connect. So if you didn't want to work on the burner, you could actually plug your grill in and do some grilling right there. Seal the safety glass that's tinted all the way around this unit. There's my Keystone TTV multi-source connection. Four by four sewer hose storage right there. Backup camera, solid ladder going all the way over the top, giving us extra security and safety. And that arch ceiling that you see in there, and you notice on the inside, we had huge high ceilings, over 80 inches. That arch is gonna make sure that the rain and the snow doesn't stay on top of the camper. And those three inch nozzles are gonna make sure that the elements don't fall on you or the slides. Bunk room slide right here. If you take a look underneath the bunk room slide, we got one of our dumps right there. And the rest of our dumps are right here. The controls are right there, but the dump is actually a little further down underneath the slide. Just always something you want to kind of pay attention to. Docking station for the city water connection, the black tank flush, the external sprayer slash external shower. There's our sprayer nozzle, the other side of the pass-through storage. Magnetic anti-slam, nice to have. And if you have solar panels, get your 10 amp quick connect right there. But the most important part of any travel trailer, I try to save this at the end of every one of our videos, is the info panel. This is where you come to see how much does this vehicle weigh. For example, unloaded weight, 8740. Gross vehicle weight, 10,500 pounds. That's when you ask your specialist, the Gander RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. What's the difference? And is this right for me? But if you're a family that wants space, style, comfort, you need to sleep, all those people in that beautiful comfort, I gotta tell you, man, only thing I didn't like was where the toilet is in the shower, but you can always walk in on the other side. I didn't think about that at first because, well, I'm not that bright. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what did you like about this travel trailer? What did you not like about this travel trailer? The all new Keystone Outback 340BH. I love hearing from you. And also please click like, subscribe, and notify so that when we do have a new video come out, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I hope I get a chance to hear from you soon. And as always, come check out a camper, man. They are fun.